Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. And today we're looking at the Sega Master System and Game Gear Core. Two awesome machines in one simple core. Before we get too far involved, do me a huge favor down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. And if you don't feel like doing it, I won't stab you like you're a snake. But I love this core because it gives us both the Master System and the Game Gear in one individual core. Because honestly, the Game Gear is just a Master System made more portable. Right off the top, you'll see we just have a couple options. We have our region, we have BIOS. You can disable the mapper if you're playing homebrew. Sometimes disabling the mapper allows games to run that otherwise wouldn't. And then we just got our basic video settings. NTSC or PAL, aspect ratio. We have our scan doubler with CRT lines. You can pop a border on if you want. And you can switch the sprites per line to standard or another option which will allow you to have less flickering. I leave it as normal, but your mileage may vary what you like. But jumping right in, I love the Master System Core because I didn't have a Master System growing up. I was a little bit too young for when it came out, and the Master System wasn't that big in North America. Now I have some friends that absolutely love collecting for the Master System, but it's not something that I'm particularly interested in. But now with the Mr. Core, I'm able to experience all the games I want to from the comfort of my couch. There's something like Fantasy Zone here, it's a classic Sega game, kind of like a shmup, kind of like a side-scrolling shmup. I've played it before, but I love it on the Mister because I get it in full HDMI. The colors are amazing. The sound's amazing. This is probably one of those cores where it's the first time you may have ever experienced that hardware. Now, I had a Game Gear when I was a kid, and I loved it, and it's been a lot of fun revisiting the Game Gear games as well. But the fact that this covers both Master System and Game Gear games at the same time is great. And there's a ton of Master System games that I've been recently playing now that I've got all the files on my mister that I'm just discovering now, like Outrun Europa. It's half Outrun and it's half Road Rash. It looks like Outrun, but in Outrun you're not punching on a motorcycle, blowing people up. And some of these games are the first time I've checked them out, and that's kind of rare for me to say that, you know, there's something I don't have or don't have experience with, and that's why I've been enjoying this course so much. As far as the functionality is concerned, it runs perfectly fine. This definitely looks better than a Master System, unless you have it modded. And I've had absolutely no issues getting ROMs to load on this system. The only thing you need to worry about, and I will show you in a little bit, is that Sega Master System ROMs have a .SMS file extension, and Game Gear ROMs have a .GG. So you need to load the Game Gear ROMs from one menu option in the core, and you need to load the Master System games in the other option. And every once in a while, you will get a Game Gear game with the wrong extension, .SMS. If you just change that in your computer to .gg before you load it up onto your Mr. Card, it's going to work perfectly fine for you. But there's so many incredible games on the Master System that I'm just getting a chance to check out here. Did you know that Golden Axe had an RPG which is basically The Legend of Zelda except in the Golden Axe universe? I knew about it and I've been meaning to play it for years. And now with the Mr. I'm able to do that without buying original hardware. And this game looks and sounds incredible on the core. Golden Axe Warrior is a game that you've probably never heard of, but you can now check out and discover. And that's one of my favorite things about Mr. is it opens the door for you to play things that you may never have seen before. Because this definitely looks just like a Legend of Zelda clone because, well, it is exactly that. But it's also an amazing game that I'm about, you know, two to three hours in right now. And I want to see the ending. I've been having as much fun playing this game as I would the original NES Legend of Zelda. And that's the great thing about this is that Unless you bought a Master System, modded it for RGB to get the best quality out and bought a copy of this game or a flash cart, it's probably something you're never actually going to get a chance to experience, and that's been the best thing about Mister is that things that you never thought you'd get to play, you're now able to play in the comfort of your living room. But again, I've gone through so many of the cores on Mister. Some of them have been perfect, some have been near perfect. I have not experienced a single hiccup with this core. It even sounds great. Listen to the music for about 30 seconds and I'll come back and talk more about the features of the core.
so yeah, the Sega Master System Core sounds great. It looks great. You will see that there is that sprite flickering going on right now. That is what the hardware would have originally done. If you don't like that sprite flickering, you can go into the core menu that I showed you at the beginning of the video and toggle that option to reduce and in some instances remove the sprite flickering entirely. I just let the hardware do what it natively would have done. Just that way it's kind of what you would expect it to do. But that's the great thing about this core is that it gives you the options to change things, but you can go just straight original if you want. And I will say that of all the cores I've done reviews for, the volume audio levels on the Master System and Game Gear core seem to be the most even to me for my setup capture. I don't have to turn the volume up, I don't have to turn the volume down, it's not peaking. This seems to be the best execution of audio on the Mister because one thing I wish that they would do, and maybe they have since this video has been recorded because it'll be live in a few months, is normalize the audio across all the cores so you're not sitting there with your controller in your hand changing the volume on your TV. I do not know what's going on with this guy's face, but he is creepy and he's not the type of person I would want to meet in a well-lit or dark alley at any time of the day. But the great thing is this doesn't just do the master system like i mentioned earlier in the videos this is also a game gear core because the game gear was basically just portable master system hardware and while i didn't own a master system back in the day as a kid i picked the game gear over the game boy and i loved the ever loving hell out of it and being able to go back and play games from my childhood from my couch on my tv is amazing because while i do have a game gear in the closet next to me as i record this it's not something that's easy to hook up to a television, but having the Mr. Core for it, full HDMI, amazing color, amazing sound, full screen with a controller, is exactly how I want to play these games. So honestly, if I'm at home and I want to play a Game Gear game, I am going to reach for the Mr. before I reach for my original Game Gear, and that for me is a big statement because I love original hardware. Now I'm never going to sell my Game Gear, and I may choose on occasion to play games on it, but the fact that I can now just sit back and relax on my couch and play something like Donald Duck here on Game Gear in this quality is absolutely amazing and it's one of my favorite features about the core in general. But Game Gear sounds great too so listen for 30 seconds and I'll come back and show you a few more of the options we have to change. Yeah, it looks great and it sounds great, but jumping right into the Mr. Core menu here, we'll show you what you can change in audio and video. You can switch it to PAL and it will run slower. I really don't recommend that, especially with full screen. I'd also just avoid that completely. Scan Doubler FX actually does look good on this core to me, although it is not going to let you be full screen. But then you can just change that sprites per line to all to get rid of some of that flickering that I showed you earlier. I like to leave it as is, but it is 100% your option what you want to check out. And now G-Lock Air Battle here. This is a game that I had when I was a kid and I didn't really like it that much back then. But as an adult, for some reason, it actually is a little bit more compelling. And that's what I love so much is being able to revisit a lot of these games from my childhood and check them out and see how they're running today. And like I said, the only thing you need to worry about between the Master System and the Game Gear is that file extension. If you know it's a Master System game, just make sure it has the .sms file extension. If you know it's a Game Gear game, just make sure it has the .gg file extension. You don't need to put them in separate folders, everything goes under SMS, and that can be slightly confusing because if you want to just play Game Gear games and you look for a Game Gear folder, you won't find it. Just put it in the SMS folder and it'll work perfectly fine. But that is the Sega Master System and Game Gear Core for the Mister. I've had absolutely no issues using this the entire time. No glitches, no crashes, nothing whatsoever. It's been perfectly flawless so long as I make sure those file extensions are correct. Short of that, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'm curious, how many people actually owned a Master System back in the day? Maybe I was just not old enough to get into it, but I don't remember seeing them for sale. It was basically the Nintendo Entertainment System in North America and nothing else until the Genesis arrived on the market, at least where I grew up. But short of that, I will be back next week with another episode in our Mr. Series, and I will have videos throughout the week as well. Like I mentioned earlier, if you do me a huge favor, go down below and like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.